now, every thought turns to Yale. From the very beginning of the game between Harvard and Yale, everyone seemed to sense that this was to be a most dramatic afternoon. Yale was undefeated, sporting a 17-game two-season win streak, while Harvard was trying to write the conclusion to a great season. At stake in this game, the Ivy title, an undefeated season, national recognition, and the plan of both outstanding squads and their coaches. It couldn't happen again in a thousand years, said the Yale coach after the game, but it had happened, as Harvard, sparked by a little-known quarterback, scored 16 points in the final 42 seconds and gained a 29-29 tie. Although John Ballantyne made a fine return of the Yale kickoff, and John Ignacio made this interception of a Brian Dowling pass early in the first quarter, the early stages of the game were completely dominated by the Eli. Nick Davidson goes 44 yards to the Harvard 36, helping to set up the first Yale score. Quarterback Brian Dowling goes in from the two, and it's Yale seven, Harvard nothing. Now it's Dowling finding fullback Cal Hill in the Harvard end zone, and Crimson Hope sink as the scoreboard reads, Yale 14, Harvard zero. Once again, it's John Ballantyne taking the kickoff and nearly getting away as he goes to the Eli 37. But it seems today that Yale can do nothing wrong. Even when forced to punt, Bob Bayless can put it out of bounds on the Harvard one-foot line. Unable to move, a Harvard punt is blocked, and Yale has excellent field position once again. Ryan Dowling scramble. Ryan finds Bill Marty for the third Yale score. And after adding two points on this play, it looks as though Yale may be on its way to a route, leading now 22 to nothing in the second quarter. But the great Harvard defense hasn't quit. Pat Conway, Jules Cal Hill, and Lonnie Kaplan recovers the fumble at the Harvard 36. The Crimson mounts a drive and gets its first score. Substitute quarterback Frank Champey hits Bruce Freeman with his 15-yard scoring pass, and it's 22 to six at the end of the first half. In the third quarter, Harvard punts. And Bob Janino jolts the ball loose. Bruce Freeman recovers a fumble at the Yale 25. Then Champey hits in Pete Barney. Rumble to the Yale one. Now it's Gus Krim who goes in for the score. And after Richie Zaro boots the extra point, it's 22 to 13 as the fourth period begins. Yale gets his fourth score early in the final period. First, Brian Dowling runs for nine to the five. Sweeps right for the touchdown. Going for one point. Bayless adds the conversion. And now it's 29 to 13 Yale. After stopping Harvard, Yale is once more deep in Harvard territory. Dowling passes to Davidson, who takes the screen to the 14 of Harvard. Mike Georges puts a crushing tackle on Davidson, and Rainier recovers for Harvard at the 13. An inside reverse to John Ballantyne. That's 14 to the 28. Watch this next play very, very closely. Champy back to pass, either fumbles or lateral to an alert. Rich Reed gets all the way to the Yale 15, and Harvard hopes are still alive. Now Champy calmly hits Freeman from 15 yards out, and it's 29 to 19. Just 39 seconds remaining. On a two-point conversion try, pass interference is called. And so Gus Krim goes in from the one to make it 29-21. Although everyone knew it was coming, Kenny Thomas's onside kick is recovered by Bill Kelly at the Yale 49. And from that point, Champy courageously scrambles to the 35. And a face mask penalty against Yale puts the ball on the Eli 20. 
Champy fools the Yale defense by calling a draw play. And Gus Prim gets to the Yale six. As time runs out, Champy desperately looks for a receiver. And finally picks out little Vic Ghetto in the end zone. And it's 29-27. Closing play of this final unbelievable minute is a two-point conversion. Champy to Pete Barney. And a stunned Yale team walks off the field as though beaten, although the score is 29 all. This devoted group of young men who showed us what the word courage means gave the finest comeback anyone could ever remember, ending a crimson season which could truly be called unbelievable. For those of us who follow Harvard football, we thank you, men of the 68 Crimson football team, for you and your coaches provided us with many moments of excitement and inspiration throughout this great season. This is Jerry Capstein saying so long, hoping to see you next year with more Harvard football highlights.